Okay, welcome back folks. Professor Almeida here to show you how to practice for the MOS in Gmetrics. Now I happen to have Gmetrics open here, but in Windows, okay? This is important because you're going to actually need this program here, and I'll show you how to get all of that set up. So head on over to gmetrics.net. It is completely free to use. All you have to do is sign up for an account. So once you've done that, this is what Gmetrics looks like. By the way, I recommend using the same email address that you uh, are using for our class, okay? So here we are in Gmetrics, and if this is your first time, I would check out the user guide. If you need to get help, you could do that there too. The next thing you need to do is redeem the access code. Now, I've provided an access code to unlock the MOS exams in our Canvas class site. So if you're in Canvas and you're going to our class on the home page, you should see an access code there where you can select and copy it and then paste it into Gmetrics. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so in Gmetrics on the left, click or tap on redeem and then you can paste the access code in here and then click or tap on the redeem button. Now before you get started with your first MOS exam, you need to download the Gmetrics software. Okay, This is where you go to get it and you want to get the stable version here. Okay, uh, As of this video, it's Gmetrics SMS 6. If you're on a Mac system, sorry, this is Windows only, especially if you are practicing for access. Also, the actual MOS exam is going to be geared toward the Windows version of Office 365, so you want to make sure that you are using Windows 10. Now, I'm running Windows 10 virtually here. This is a Linux laptop, and if you need to get Windows 10, and run it in a virtual environment, here's a video on how to do that, okay? So it's a little noisy out here in my backyard. We have helicopters flying everywhere here. All right, moving on. So you see that I've actually installed the software here. You don't need to double click on this and you'll see why because when you launch an exam it'll be done for you here all right let's go ahead and start new test all right here we are office 2019 so if you are practicing for excel you want to go into office 2019 these are your different exam choices here you'll see that we have two different practice exams three skill reviews you can choose any one of these Okay, let me back up for a moment because you'll notice that access is missing from this list. All right, as of this video, access is not available yet under Office 2019, so we'll have to go back into Office 2016 and get to access that way. In all honesty, there isn't that much difference between the 2016 and 2019 versions of access, but like I said, once it becomes available, uh, I'll let you know. Okay, again, you have a number of different practice exams here. You have two practice exams, two skill reviews, two project reviews. You could choose from any one of those. All right, so let me get back to Office 2019 here and let's go ahead and launch an Excel exam. Okay, in this case, I'm going to choose practice exam one. And you'll notice for each exam, you can choose between training mode and testing mode. If you're starting out, I would begin with training mode so that you get a feel for the environment, okay? You're gonna have up to seven projects. It's gonna be a lot like what you're doing in class with the graded office projects. For each project, you'll have a number of different tasks that you need to complete, and then you get it graded, you move on to the next project, and you keep going until you can't go anymore, okay? If it's the live exam, uh, you keep going until you run out of time or if you finish, okay? So in training mode, you're not timed. If you get stuck on a task, you can get step-by-step -step help. In testing mode, it simulates the actual exam. You'll have 50 minutes and there's going to be no help. You'll just have to power your way through it. Now, if you're taking 
G metrics for a grade, you're going to be doing testing mode. Okay. But to start, begin in training mode and then work your way to testing mode. You can take these exams as many times as you want. There's no limit. Okay. All you have to do is pass. All right. Passing is 700. If it's the if you're training for the real thing, you want to go for an 850, okay? That way it gives you a cushion. But uh, if you're turning this in for a grade, you want to go for a 700. That is considered passing, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and launch this in training mode. Okay, let me maximize my screen here. And that's probably another thing. You want to make sure that you're on a system with a lot of real estate here. I don't have that much because I'm in a virtual environment. So when you begin a new exam, you're going to get this prompt here. Now, if you've already installed the software, you can just go ahead and choose open. But if you forgot, you can click here to download. There's a button and then where it says click here to try again, that will launch the prompt once you've installed the software. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this and you'll see the Gmetric software launch okay so you don't have to double click from your desktop it's all right there it does it for you so it's going to launch the software and it's also going to launch my copy of excel here so that's another thing make sure you have office 365 installed but of course if you are taking a class involving microsoft office well you would have already installed it anyway okay so give it a couple of moments if you need that pause button it's there waiting for you okay so again, give it a couple of moments and here we go. This is what the environment looks like. You'll see a timer running. Uh, again, this is training mode. You're not being timed. It's just showing you how long it's taking you. But in testing mode, you do have 50 minutes. We see that we have seven projects here and this is the first of seven. Now you can jump around to the different projects. I don't recommend doing this by the way. I would actually try to power through uh, each of the projects here. So this is the overview. Here's the first task. And again, uh, you want to make sure you have enough real estate because you're going to end up doing what I'm doing here. And that's scrolling through. Okay, let me show you the first task. Import the comma delimited file accessories.csv located in the Gmetrics templates folder into a new worksheet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what Gmetrics templates folder? So check this out here. Okay, if I go into the data tab and in the get and transform data group, I click on from text slash CSV. Look at this. Gmetrics automatically placed a folder for me, and this contains all of the testing materials that I will need. So there's the file in question. Okay. So that's another thing that the software will do for you. It will actually plant a Gmetrics templates folder right there on your computer so that you have everything. Now, if you don't know how to do this task, okay, uh, if you don't know what to do, what I just did, you can click on help. And again, this is only available in training mode. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. So if you're in training mode, write this down or make a note of it so that you can study it uh, for your actual exam in testing mode. Okay, so if you don't know how to do certain things, make sure that you write this stuff down so that you're able to study off of it. Also, as you're moving through, any task you're not sure about, you want to mark for review. And the tasks that you do complete, you can mark them complete. And then that way you can keep track. Once you're done, you grade it and then you move on to the next one. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. If you need to start over on a project, you can choose restart project. If you need to walk away, for instance, because you have a low battery like me, uh, you can save the project and then you can come back to it later, okay? Uh, I'm gonna save it to my computer because uh, it's fall 2020 and most likely you're doing this from home. Again, there's that battery warning. Uh, some of my students have had mixed results with Gmetrics Cloud. What I would do is save it to the computer and then it will go ahead and exit you out of Gmetrics, okay? So in the time I have remaining here, let me show you how to turn in your Gmetrics results if you're doing this for a grade, okay? So again, if you need that pause button, it's there waiting for you, but I'm running low on battery, so I'm gonna try to power through this video here. All right, to turn in your Gmetrics results, on the left side you have tests, go to completed tests, 
and I need a filter. I only have one set of MOS results here. Uh, nothing in testing mode, but again, it's just for sake of example, I'll just choose this one right here. It's pretty much the same thing, right? You want to make sure that your name is clearly displayed and that you are in testing mode. Okay, I'm just doing this for sake of example. Click on the printer icon, and what you're going to do is save this to PDF. Okay, here it's Microsoft Print to PDF. Uh, it might say save as PDF, okay, depending on what you're using. I've also provided a WikiHow link in the actual Gmetrics assignment. You can read up on that if you have questions, but the bottom line is you're going to be turning in a PDF copy of your results. Okay, so you're going to go ahead, print the PDF here, okay. So make sure you choose to print to PDF. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this in my downloads folder and you can call it whatever you want, Excel Moss results. Uh, the idea here is that you know where you saved it to because you're gonna go into Canvas and you're gonna upload that PDF. Again, check the assignment instructions uh, for details. Anyway, that's all I have here. Good luck on your MOS exams. If you need any additional help, you do have that open collab form in Canvas. You can ask your peers. You can also message me privately in Canvas conversations. Again, good luck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.